You know, when calling coyotes and people refer to using a distress call, a distress call can be any animal that lives in the wild that is under distress, that something's maybe got a hold of it, another coyote, a wild dog, it's caught in something and it's in distress. And so as a prey, as a predator, I'm thinking, hey, there's an easy meal. I can go take advantage of that. A rabbit is, is one of the most common foods for a coyote. So that's why the rabbit distress call is probably one of the most popular. They make rabbit distress calls. There's bird distress calls. There's fawn in distress. There's antelope in distress. You can have a calf in distress, a calf balling in distress, if you're in an area where there's a lot of livestock. But the most common coyote call on the market, it's easy to blow, it's easy to make, probably the rabbit distress. If it's a real steel day, you don't have to blow your lungs out. If it's a windy day, you need to have a call that's going to carry more volume, more of a jackrabbit call that's got more volume than a cottontail. Your cottontails are usually a little softer, a little higher pitch, don't carry as far. But on them stiller days, I love a good cottontail call. And you can also take about any open reed call like this, and you can imitate a pup in distress, or you can get soft, you can get loud. It's just a lot of practice and it's where you put your mouth along the reeds along in here. So just your basic rabbit stress is just <coughs> And that's going to be your basic rabbit and stress. You're, you do that right there. It's not how you blow the call. I can teach my four-year-old daughter to blow in this call and probably get a coyote to come into it. The noise you make is not going to be near as important as your setup, getting in there undetected, and hunting smart, using the wind, and being woods wise. That's gonna kill you more coyotes than the noise you make. You can also do a pup distress. <coughs> Had a lot of luck there. A lot of times you call in a pair or you kill a coyote early, you might be on a rabbit distress. Sitting there blowing your call. Your buddy's sitting over beside you. He shoots and kills a coyote. The other one turns to run off. If you'll jump on that pup distress, I don't know how many times that second coyote that pair is leaving out, jump on that pup distress, wheel a 190 and come right back into that coyote we just shot, boom, kill a pair right there. So a pup distress, that coyote is a very important call to learn to make. It'll get you that second coyote on those sets a lot of times.